video we are showing you a LED tube, TA tube, that works with a ballast or without. This one is the IntelliTube. Um, we got a clear lens which is what you really want because when you stick it in a, in a fixture, most fixtures have lenses to diffuse the light so you get a little more light out of it. This fixture here, this, this lamp socket here works off this ballast. This lamp socket here is wired direct to 120 volts. And then on this end, you can see there's nothing for the one that has 120 volts and then on the other that's for the fluorescent. So this lamp here works a fluorescent. This lamp here does not work a fluorescent lamp socket. I mean, um, and this ballast is actually warm and there's no lamp plugged into it, wasting energy. Even though you have no lamp plugged in or you have burned out tubes, you still waste electricity with a ballast. So we can cover on. Your standard fluorescent. It only works in here. Um, the big famous question is what happens if you stick a fluorescent tube into a socket here that's already been wired for 120 volts. This is that's all that happens. Um, so now this lamp is bad, but it's a $2 lamp or $1 lamp, so now that this one's bad, I still have another fluorescent to show you everything that's your fluorescent. Now, here is the IntelliTube. Now there's power only at one end. You can see input. So we'll plug this into the lamp that the fluorescent was plugged into. Nice and bright. And if this is going into a lensed fixture, this will this light will def be diffused and we can get clear lenses anyway. Or, uh, frosted lenses. Then here's the ballast. There you go. So if you have a building that has T8 ballast, this tube will only work off a of T8, not a magnetic, and you want to convert to LED fast without rewiring the socket, this will be the tube you get. So here's the ballast. Works in that. And then a few years later, if the ballast fails, you rewire the lamp socket, plug your lamp back in, because these lamps have, I think, a 10-year warranty. And then that lamp still works without a ballast, and you don't ever have to buy a ballast again. So this lamp would be really the most economical one to buy, and you can obtain a rebate from your local utility. So here's your standard fluorescent. That's probably a 35K. This is a 5,000 gallon lamp, so it's going to have to be brighter, different color. So that's probably 3,000, 3,500, 5,000, but we can get these in all different colors. See the difference. But 
as you see, I'll destroy another lamp. It's the only thing that happens. So. Here is your teletube. Ballast. Works off a of ballast. No wiring, just plug and play. Ballast fails years later, where you just don't want a ballast and just wire 120 volts to this lamp socket. Works off that also. Any questions, feel free to contact us. Oh, decent amount of light.